hatched by a feral mother, Pig the dog and her brothers and sisters were rescued by Alabama resident Kim Dillenbach. According to her veterinarian, Pig's unusual appearance is a result of several missing ribs and vertebrae. In spite of her condition, Dillenbach assures people that Pig can run, jump, and bark without any signs of pain, and that Pig thinks she's just a normal dog. Number 11. While Western Lowland Gorillas are typically black, Copito de Nieve, or Snowflake, gained fame as an exhibit at the Barcelona Zoo in Spain because of his albino mutation. He was the world's only known white gorilla. In Equatorial Guinea in Africa, farmers killed several gorillas who had been eating their bananas. Among the dead, a farmer found a white baby gorilla that was still alive and he sold it to primatologist Jordi Sabatarpi in 1966 who took him to the Barcelona Zoo. Like other albino animals, snowflakes suffered from vision problems and skin conditions. In 2003, after nearly 40 years, he died of complications related to skin cancer. Number 10. Born without legs in a remote Chinese village, Chu Jianji's owners initially considered throwing her away because of her deformity. But instead, her owner chose to give her a chance to live and spent about a month teaching her to balance and walk on two legs by holding up her tail. Eventually, Chu Jianji, which means strong-willed pig in the local dialect of Chinese, learned to walk and even perform handstands or hoof stands. A local sensation, a circus offered to purchase Chu from her owner, but he refused, saying that she proved to us that no matter what form life is, it should continue to live on. Number 9. Aptly named Frank and Louie, and sometimes called Frank and Louie, this cat was born with two faces. His condition is called Diprosopus. Cats with this condition are also called Janus cats after the Roman god of gates and beginnings, Janus, who was often depicted with two faces. Incidentally, the month of January is also named after Janus. Frank and Louis had three eyes, two noses, and two mouths, but only one brain. Although most cats with this condition die after only a few days, Frank and Louis defied the odds and, after a few months of careful care and bottle feeding, learned to eat, walk, and thrive on his own. In 2014, he passed away at the ripe old age of 15. Number 8. It's pretty much my favorite animal. When Napoleon Dynamite said he was drawing a liger, I thought he was making it up, but they are real. Weighing in at 922 pounds, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, Hercules is the largest living cat. The offspring of a male tiger and female lion, Hercules the liger grew twice the size of each of his parents. Although lions and tigers don't share habitat, and thus ligers don't exist in the wild, Hercules is currently housed at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species. Proceeds raised from his viewing are used to fund wildlife protection initiatives around the world. Number 7. After finding Pocho the Crocodile injured and dying on a Costa Rican riverbank, local fisherman Cheeto Shedden drugged the beast back to his house and nursed him back to health. Later. Cheeto released Pocho back into the river, but was surprised to find that the crocodile had returned to his home the next day. Completely docile and friendly to his savior, Pocho went on to become a daily member of Cheeto's family, and the two even went on to perform public events together. Pocho died of natural causes in 2011. Number 6. A member of the Ancole Watusi cattle breed, which is native to Africa, Lurch held the world record for the largest horn circumference at 37 and a half inches. His horns also measured 7 feet from end to end and weighed approximately 100 pounds each. Housed at the Rocky Ridge Animal Refuge in Arkansas, Lurch died at age 14 in 2010. After his death, the refuge he called home turned his body over to a taxidermist to be stuffed. Number 5. It's hard to believe, but the dog in this photo, weighing in at over 170 pounds, is only 18 months old. Fittingly named, Hulk is one of 12 dogs owned by Marion and Lisa Granin, who run a pit bull protection dog training company and supply protection dogs to international clients. Far from the pit bulls normally featured on the news media sites, despite his size and future occupation, Hulk is the perfect family dog and can be seen playing, bathing, and cuddling with the couple's young child. Hulk also recently fathered puppies of his own, and his owners estimate that because of his size, his pups might collectively be worth $500,000. Number 4. Born to a breeder, Kenny the Tiger gained exposure in social media as a tiger with Down syndrome. 
Although this diagnosis is probably incorrect and likely not caused by an extra chromosome, Kenny's facial structure is the result of genetics. As a white tiger, Kenny and his relatives are highly sought after by breeders, zoos, and animal collectors, leading to market pressure and the excessive breeding of an already small gene pool. Experts attribute his facial characteristics to irresponsible inbreeding practices. Number three. Bred by local Inuit people for thousands of years, the red giant Alaskan Malamute is one of Alaska's oldest and largest dog breeds. Like draft horses, Alaskan Malamutes were bred to pull hundreds, even thousands of pounds on dog sleds. Typically, individuals of the breed weigh between 75 to 100 pounds, but some have been known to grow as big as 150 pounds. They can withstand temperatures as low as negative 70 degrees. Reportedly, movie director George Lucas's Malamute was the inspiration for the Chewbacca Star Wars character. This particular photo is believed to be of a red giant Alaskan Malamute named Gibson. Number two. Born in captivity here in the United States, Kanzi, a 35-year-old bonobo, has gained both internet and scientific fame for his ability to exercise seemingly complex linguistic skills through a set of over 400 lexigrams. Kanzi is a member of the bonobo chimpanzee species, one of two chimpanzee species that are most closely related to us. Kanzi can blow up a balloon, make fire, cook an omelet, and reportedly play and beat the first round of Pac-Man. While Kanzi has been around humans since he was six months old, researchers didn't start training him until he was a few years old. Kanzi has a son, Tico, who's been raised and trained with humans since birth. And researchers wonder if he may one day be able to talk. And now for the number one, Matilda the cat, known in popular culture as Alien Cat, appeared to be completely normal when she was rescued and later adopted as a kitten. However, after several months, Matilda's owners noticed that her pupils began to dilate uncontrollably, sometimes growing so large they appeared to encompass her entire retina. She shared this condition called spontaneous lens luxation with her brothers and sisters, but was the only one who also experienced eye growth. Thank you.